Welcome to Surviving Mars. Welcome back to Surviving Mars. And one hopes I will. Alright, so we got this stuff going up. Let's go ahead and build out what I want in the bar in here for the next batch of folks. And I'm gonna want to stop some of the stuff before it actually finishes. So I'm gonna put in some living quarters. Um, I'm gonna have the first grab a, a bunch of people that come in are uh, just the, the initial 12. So I'll have plenty of stuff for them. Ow, I didn't, didn't get there fast enough. <laughs> That's all right. It's not a big deal. I believe that, yeah, it's just concrete. So uh, I'll live with that. Services. First thing I'm going to put in here is a diner. That's concrete metal, so I think I can let it build, actually. Uh, we're going to put in an infirmary. and a grocery and then we'll do some kind of pretty thing like um, I'm, I'm about now of these you know like a statue is only Sector's one they're game. all the same for uh, comfort so it seems I like putting in a garden personally so we'll do that all right now that's really all that's required for these guys to get going so I have 12 spaces so here's um, here's Four, eight, two there. So I'm going to actually shut down two here, two here. Not have them work on the nighttime because it's, that's a bad deal. Now the other thing that just happened was my research should have completed or will be completed here in a moment for the fungal farm. And I could put the fung fungal farm out here. Otherwise, I would do hydroponics. Now when I look at the the two, um, the, the the hydroponics throwing around numbers generates like 2.5 food the fungal farm generates about eight and a farm generates about 11 so when i get to farm i'd prefer to do with them because uh farms also uh don't take any kind of maintenance which uh i found amazing the hydroponics takes three people to run oh, the fun. fungal farm takes six so that works out for me too and i got an anomaly so let's go find us oh it's over here Sure. Are we going to be done with this meteor storm soon? It would be nice. Should watch this guy go over here. Just make sure he gets there okay. No. Steer around that, buddy. Anomaly found. Oh, yeah. So these are the uh, meteors dropping anomalies, by the way. All right, so we can land this guy. Boom, right there. So the other thing I need to put down is my Research metal extractor. Complete. Where? Put it here. Uh, where am I going to put it? This looks, looks like I could put it over here. Yeah, we'll put it as far away. As, I want to get as far away from the the gray the gray outline from all the other stuff that's going to be down. In fact, I could put it, like, maybe over Anomaly here. Anomaly yeah, there. So I need to put in power to it. Uh, why don't we go this way? Like that. So I got the Anomaly done. Excellent. All right. And Sector my... Uh, looks like the Meteor Storm finished. Frontier. You are heavy hitting musical station. There's low G fungus, so now I can put my fungal farm down, and I need to put it somewhere where they can get to it. So I don't want it on this side, I want it over here. This, this is kicking up dust over here. I think we'll put it, like, here, right there. And that's going to take piping. Research complete. And it's going to take uh, electronics or power. There we go. All right, so we got everything fired up at the moment, and now I just need to put in my power accumulator, my my uh, sterling generators. Anomaly analyzed. And I got to drop one sterling generator right off the bat. These things I can turn off so they don't draw power. 
They also would get maintained, so if they run out of, uh, if they need to be up, updated or upgraded, they, uh, they'll they delay the maintenance until I turn them back on. Perfect, and I can turn this, I can open it up. Oh, now these guys are all going to be running off of that. I don't need these anymore, so I can take them out if I want to, which I will. Just to minimize what I'm using. Clear it with uh, decommission protocol. Boom. Excellent. So now if I click on this, I can see what my energy use is. Just total demand is 27. Total produce is uh, a little bit less. So I need to take a look at... I can probably just turn this thing off here, can I? Yep. And it will pass power still through it, which is what I'm looking for. And I can turn this one off here, too. Now if I click on it, what's the uh, power demand? 12. That's all this stuff over here. Uh, why are you guys not... There we go. You're taking a while to clear. Anything over? Yeah, you got stuff going on. Where is my dude? You, come here. Go grab stuff. Sector scanned. Anomaly found. Oh, good. I like anomalies. Anomalies. All right, how are we doing on research? Oh, I'm down to one thing again. Cool. Uh, don't need the mo I could that not bad. I can build the drone hub, which is good. All right, let's do magnetic. I'm really not gonna need that right now. I don't want to really worry about that. That would be nice to have. Uh, deep scans. Let's take that so we can advance it a little bit. And we'll take the funding. Very good. <sighs> Explorer AI. Multiple vehicles result in collaboration loss. So now I get more AI, more research off of my Explorer. Which is awesome. Okay, you're done. Fine. Let's go unload. Battles. I'm safe. So at this stage, I am all good to go. I just need to get somebody the heck off this thing, which will be this guy right here. He's a 27. I don't know. Do I have electronics in here somewhere? I do. Anomaly analyzed. Unload here. And the last of these spare parts over there. I got new tech. Sweet. Do I have anything over here left to get? Yeah, just grab whatever's left. Let's go take a look and see what they dropped for new stuff. Huh. Colonists without the proper self specialization suffer a lower work position. Yeah, that's good. It's actually really good. It's actually better than the money. So let's go grab that. All right, do I have anything else to research? What, no, no more, not, no more anomalies that I can look at. All right, so I'll, I'll just do the, the edge there. This is probably pointless through here, but that's fine for the moment. Uh, unless I get the uh, sensor towers not requiring power. I could probably put a sensor tower and a small... Uh, I'm your host, oh, Kim Tai A small Being on Mars solar panel down here, but it doesn't feel life, like that's the right thing. Universe, and of course, a lot about so, you. In my opinion, Earth as a developmental project there we go. has totally gone around. Just look what happened to the government or the political scene, and look at the individualistic attitude that keeps on growing like a cancer. Perfect. With the Mars project, we have a clean all right, so you were done there. I saw. Sector scanned. I'm not mistaken. Based some other stuff down here, right? And brother and sisterhood. So let's, let's take a look. See what I got here. And here uh, the next two oof, lots of metal. And some polymers. Sweet. All right, go here. Get the polymers. Always nice to find a few polymers laying around that you can utilize. All right, so now uh, let me take a look and see my build. Got the quarters, decoration, uh, yep, I'm good. 
So these guys, we'll have 12 guys coming here. I'll have six here, and I'll have six over here. This will be off. And then as soon as the founder iteration is over, then I'll go on to the next thing. And in fact, one of the other things I'm going to build, service-wise, is a nursery. And a playground. That'll encourage them to have a birth, and the first birth will reset the uh, the time required for the founders. A moment, I got to close the doors. As I said, I'm still on the tail end of a flu or something. Probably a head cold, actually. The way it's behaving. Alright. So then I'm going to leave this thing off. And then the next batch of people who come out, I'll add one more uh, living quarters in here. And they will be my miners. And from that, I will get the cash to really kick everything else going into, into high gear. Another thing is that the fuel refinery is going to generate enough fuel up every pardon, every five heat. days to send out one of these guys. No oh, good. Two additional drones. Uh, did you finish doing your thing over here? You did. All right, go grab uh, the the fallen resources. There's an awful lot of metal laying around, so I generally don't have to worry too much about it. How you doing? Very close. He's got two more points to go, two more things of fuel, and then he's out of here. And then we can do a passenger rocket and land then. Sector scanned. How are we doing on scanning? We're doing fine. There he goes. You hit the Milestone road. Achieved. And he drops all his drones off and they attach themselves here. So now I'm up to nine drones. Two malfunctioning drones. Wait, what? Where are my malfunctioning? Oh, they got them fixed. Good. Drones will fix other drones. So now that I got a rocket off of Mars, he'll head back. As soon as he gets back, we'll do uh, peoples. So let's talk about peoples. Uh, let's go into the resupply passenger rocket thing. I don't have one, so I can't actually do the peoples yet. So we'll wait. I actually got pretty lucky with this placement. Because usually I have to move all this stuff somewhere else. Alright, so you are next. For fuel. Sweet. How you doing? How did you get up there? Are you done? Oh, you're done. All right. In that case, come down here and unload there all your metals. Now, one of the interesting things about this is I can let this build sit for an awful long time. Um, the only thing is there's uh, a take a hit for the people going out to the uh, fungal farm so there is a sanity thing that goes on here that you need to try to compensate for in your research but I think we're doing pretty good on research in fact we're doing so well I might even consider outsourcing for a million I think I will let's, let's go ahead and augment it uh, I have another spot let's see more applicants more funding Four additional drones. Oh, automatic mode. Yeah, we'll do that. I love that automatic mode. That's great. There used to be a mod that you could uh, install that would uh, allow you to set those guys on automatic. All right, so you're done there. Unload here. Yeah, once this guy gets on automatic, he'll just go out here and find all this, this stuff for me. Do I have more over here still? Of course I do. I got piles. Go get it.
Sector scanned. I think I'm going to put in a couple more research complete. Uh, things here. So I want a food depot over here by the door between the focal farm and here. It makes it makes deliveries like nice and fast. Um, I'm probably gonna need to put another one there. You don't have any over here yet? Nope. Alright, dumping sites. Make sure all my, my my waste rock gets somewhere. Magnetic filtering. So that means the uh, moxie. Yep. Yeah, I got the uh, the polymers for it. So let's go ahead and do this. We'll increase the oxygen production by 50%. And. So actually there's another place you can look. If you go onto the command center, let me go back down here again. Right down here, that little thing in command center, when you click on buildings, it'll tell you where all the upgrades are and you can actually do the upgrades from here. So if you want to click everything on here, you can scroll up and down and see where your stuff is and uh, how you're doing there. It's a, it's a nice little place to have, uh, be able to look at that. There's another thing you can do, you can look at your graphs and see how you're doing like with your energy or your oxygen or your water. You see where things are being used. I have a hard time reading it this way. I find it much easier to go up to the top and just hover over my, my thing here and see where it's being used. So I can see, like, for example, uh, I'm producing 13 concrete. I'm not using any. I'm, produce, I'm not producing anything here, but I'm using 1.1 per sol, this last sol, of, uh, for maintenance. So I can keep an eye on how my consumption's going and try to stay ahead and make sure everything stays in the positives. Back out here. Do I have any more water? No, so this is the only water I've found in the whole scan. area. That's bananas. All right, uh, let's bring you back and unload over here. We end up to do Research another uh, storage depot, which I'll probably put. Where am I going to go? I'm going to go up that way for these uh, but I don't have any water there. I don't know where I'm going to go next. So I will put the next depot, like, right here. And also do another concrete. So my concrete doesn't get backed up. Oh, look. Alright. Sure there's more. Yep, lots more. Go get more. I'm at 193 metal, 99 uh, for my concrete, so I'm doing well. I can now build polymer factories, so I don't need the one I have. That's fine. And I can also build the fuel refinery if I need another one, which... Uh, maybe. So the rocket's back there. Let's go ahead and grab our people's. So the respawn. So I can do passenger rocket now. So my suggestion here is to go into specializations, turn everything off for the moment. Look at geologists, botanists. The botanists are obviously for the fungal farm. The geologists are going to be for the rich, rich stuff that we've got going, uh, coming up here shortly. Um, you can also do medic. So right now I've got 21 for 12. We're going to go in for perks. Actually, let's take a look at quirks first. Uh, make sure your tourist is turned off. The rest of this you don't really care about. I mean, if you can get the guru, that's great. So if we threw the guru in, we'd just say, yeah, but the guru, because it's zero of one, tells me that he doesn't have the initial traits that I'm looking for. But I, I'll turn them on anyway. Thank you for your, your hints. I don't need them. I don't want them. So now we can look at the flaws. So if, if I go back uh, perk-wise, Here's all the good stuff that they have. Definitely want to keep Celebrity turned on if you can get him. Uh, the Genius is good because the Celebrity gives you cash. The Genius gives you uh, research. The other thing that's good is uh, Religious. They don't take as much sanity damage. Um, Orcaholic is good if you can get it. I want to go back to Specializations. I'm curious what that... Uh, see, if I do Officer... 
Nope. You can actually go back and forth through here and figure out what, what the dude is. Which is unfortunate that I have to go through this. I, I, I wish it would allow me to actually pick. I think there's a mod for that. Is he a scientist? No? What the hell is he? No specialization? Yep, he's got no specialization. Alright. Uh, so the way I'll handle this is I'll say these guys are all no. I'll take this guy off so he's a default. So uh, if I can't fill him out with all these, then I'll go to the other one. Alright, so now we got that. So I'm at 50. So if we look at the flaws, we just say, hey, everybody's no flaw. Flawless. I want flawless people. I'm at 20, but the question is, is did I get, who did I get? Let's take a look at the specializations. Uh, five botanists, close to what I want. So seven, and a bunch of no specialized back. Works. But I still have the guru. He has no flaws. All right. But I would like to improve on this a little bit if I can. So let's take a look at the perks. So this says I got, so if I start turning bo bodies off here, uh, I don't want party animal fit or gamer. I'm down to nine. Did I lose the guru? I did not lose the guru. Specialization? I lost most of the botanists. They, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, back. Perks. I'm okay with fit. Let's take fit out of this. Uh, none of the hippies are in this batch. There's a saint. I'll take the saint. Uh, what does this guy do? Raises the morale of all religious people in a dome, which is nice, especially if you got the religious people coming. Uh, sexy isn't bad because that'll give me a chance to uh, get the good stuff going. So about 13 colonists. Which is fine. Let's go ahead and launch these guys. There's no room. Yeah, no, launch anyway, because there is room. I just have to turn it on. All right, so now we got to put down the rest of the power. I'll put another Sterling generator over here. I am going to take the advice and spread some stuff out here. I'm going to put a Sterling generator over here. Research complete. I'll put it right there. And the last one over here. There. Now, turn on the uh, dome, turn on the living quarters, turn this stuff on so it's all ready for people when they get here. Perfect. <laughs> so let's see, if I turn on the specialist, no restriction. Oh, no, I'll take them all. How are you doing? He is almost Sector ready to get scanned. out of here. I'm thinking I might do another uh, fuel depot thing. One more. That's where polymers go. I don't want to put polymers over there. I'll put this guy over here. So something else you can do with these, you can see these depots, they have a slider in here, it says desired amount. Now I like to set a couple of those to full. Um, I haven't done that over here yet, but that just means that if there's any of that stuff laying around, it'll go there first. So how's my power doing? So if I click on here, power demand is 35, my production is 50. 
So if I want to, I could probably close this. Right? Power demand. Production. Yep, so I'm good. And notice I have no batteries. Sterling generators are just fine. You keep them closed because then if they get dust in them, they have to be repaired more often, maintained. I just slow down the maintenance cycle for it. Adaptive probes. Thank you. Hey, how you doing? That looks good. All right. He's done with his uh, metal. Come back here and unload. Thank you. Now you, you're ready to land. I'm not ready to land you yet. Now if you look on this, you'll see that in the bottom it says I have 117 hours before I have to land them. I want to land them in this spot. So I'm going to wait because this is very close to being full. And especially now that I have two fuel uh, two fuel things going at the same time, we should be fine. So let's go over here and take a look at something. Uh, what's our, our consumption? Production, demand on water is fine. Production, demand on air is great. Production and demand on power is excellent. And that should do it, right? You just did the last one, you did. Excellent, get out of here. You, you're done. You're blocking the space. I got people to bring in here. Can't do it yet. He has to be off the screen. Off the screen and gone. Okay. You bet. All right. Let us land these people and watch this. We'll watch them come out the thing. I probably should have turned this around, actually, now that I think about it. Because it drops down this way, and they come out and go around. I would have liked them to come straight in. Woohoo! Hello, peoples! New colonists have arrived. They're all hopping in. Woohoo! They say, this is great! Yeah! They're a little cold in there? What? How are they cold? Oh, I, I guess I need to open up some of this stuff. Did I just lose power? I didn't. I need more power. More power! How much energy am I taking? Not too much. All right, so Full new beginning and determination. The first founders have set foot on the red planet. The next 10 sols will be full of difficulty and dangers, but also with great promises and opportunities. It is now to us to prove that Mars can be a doorway to greater riches and the future of the human civilization. Even the most epic adventures begin with a single step. The effect arrival of additional colonists temporarily suspended until the colony proves able to suspend, sus, uh, sustain human life. Your founder colonists must survive for 10 sols before additional people can arrive. However, the colony will be evalu evaluated positively before that period ends in the event the first human was born on Mars. So, yeah, I can get pregnant and have a child in less than 10 sols. Good, good, good idea. If you feel you're up to the challenge, try constructing a medical building and raising the comfort of the founders as much as possible. Guess what? I got a medical building right there. He's just not working on the on the weekends. All right, so over here we've got this guy going. This is going to just create whatever food is available. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the hypothermia. Our colonists are suffering from hypothermia. No, they're not. So this is a case of if you don't have enough power going to the dome, it'll give you this whole thing. That, that's troubling. Yes, I, I agree. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Produced some food already. Wow. I'm, I'm cruising. What are we doing on fuel? Excellent. Research complete. General training. Nice. So now the people who were not slotted. So let's see, take a look here. So I, I, I got a biologist. Uh, he's in the correct place. So he's going to get a plus 10 from that. And he's going to have more morale because he's happier doing his job. These guys, eh, they're not so good at it. Uh, typically it would be minus 40, so this is taking off um, a 10. Do I have any children yet? Nope, not yet. Come on, come on, give me, give me kids. Kids. Uh, you. Let's send you over here to grab some more of that. Alright, we're, we're screaming along. I think uh, we're going to have a body here, a person born shortly. So what do I got here? I got a brave citizen. Here's a guru, a sexy guru. And a saint. <laughs> Same person. Sector <laughs> scanned. Okay, Zornita and Maud. You guys are twins. It's the, it's the Guru Saint twins. 
Okay. I'll take it. So, I can look over here to see if food's popping out yet. It isn't. But I can see food in here. As soon as these guys uh, load up, it'll start to overflow out here, which is going to be great. But it uh, looks like the food is screaming along quite nicely. So if I go over here, I can see one food is produced, none consumed. I got 17 service buildings. Okay. Uh, so, how are we doing on this? Maintenance is point 0.3. No maintenance there. Maintenance is point 0.4. Don't have to worry about anything there. So we're doing great. Uh, so lots of vacancies. They got some nursery spots. Perfect. All earthborn. <sighs> I don't like it when a plan comes together. I can hook this up now if I want to have this run 24 by 7 but it's not not necessary I've got plenty of concrete so no big deal and there isn't a whole lot of stuff going on here that I have to worry about you're full again wow nice you are doing great load up there. all right so now all we're gonna do here is just wait until we get a, a body oh look see I've got food uh, so these things are full there's some food out here somewhere. No, oh, it, got, it got consumed. You ate my food. You ate my food. <laughs> yeah, it's come along quite nicely. I'm happy. I think we got some religious people in this patch, didn't we? No active research. Research complete. Ah! Have I really gone that fast through research? Nuts. Automated storage, water reclamation, fuel compression, or uh, compression. Oh, autom autonomous sense. Uh, autonomous sense. I want that. That's great. Lower risk of sanity with a break. That's good. I could do more applicants. Let's uh, let's do something cheap, and then we'll get some more of this here. So I'm spreading it around a little bit. But so we've got a fungal farm, we've got magnetic filtering, we've got uh, decommissioning protocol and, and the polymer the factory, frontier. we got we'll Logi, transportation optimization, drawn swarm, uh, drone swarm, explorer AI, and rover AI, which means I can set my transport on, on automatic, adaptive probes, which I can't really use because I'm not going to buy probes to do more scans, uh, systemic training. What was that one? Yeah, the, the extra research. And then general training. Perfect. So we are loaded back up. I like it. So if I go over here and click on this guy, he's wherever he is. He's right here. I go, boop, automated mode. He's off. He's going to go get more resources. It's like, okay, I got it. And you, you can have to go on automatic as well go and this is ready to take off you're out bye all right founders are down we have um i, I we're, we're, we're cruising right now all i'm doing is just sitting back and waiting uh can we look at our colonists Nobody pregnant? Really? What are you guys doing? Look! Mon sexy! Abigail is sexy! You guys... Look, uh, you're sexy! Oh, wait a minute. How many how many men do I have in this group? There's a male. Let's see. Two males. Resources are low. Two males! <laughs> I don't know how I did it, but okay. Two guys, ten women. Um, I know what they're busy doing. This has got to happen soon. I'm just saying, it's got to happen soon. Uh, one of the other things we can do, by the way, is take a look at these colors and see how their sanity is doing. Here's their sanity right here. So they're all pretty happy. There's a comfort. Sector so things, scan. Are, things are doing. Things are going great. 
we're, we're happy, happy clams. As soon as the autonomous uh, sensor thing happens, I'm going to start moving out a little bit with, uh, well, I can't. I need a, a command module. Or I just have to keep building. Oh, well, no, I could just build a drone hub and a sensor thing. And just kind of like, you know, uh, leapfrog it. That should be fine. All right. So I feel like we are in a pretty good spot right now. Um, I've got lots of metal. I've got lots of concrete. Uh, food is now producing at a positive rate. I've got plenty of uh, power. I've got spare power because I still haven't opened up these two guys. So if I open them up, I get another <coughs> head. Pardon me. So I'm doing great on the power. And the next batch of people who come in will go here. And in fact, to prepare for that, Another living quarters. Right there. So that'll give me uh, 12 more guys, or 14 more, so I could do four here and a research lab here, which should be. Actually, I'll put the research lab in here because I want to be able to save a space for a farm. But uh, yeah. And I believe this, this guy out here can keep up with the two here. He can't keep up with three, but he can keep up with two. I think things are going well. Come back and join me and see if everything goes to hell in a handbasket. Take care. Bye-bye. Creeping through the shadows In the corners of your mind I go where the wind blows I run but I don't hide Hear the call of the wild Whispering the name No, I can't be tamed My heart belongs to the night I'm alone, I'm alone I'm a, I'm a lone wolf I'm a lone wolf I'm a lone wolf I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf I'm a, I'm a